How's it going, folks? Happy Sunday, man. This is uh, T Biz here, anyways. Yeah, as, as usual. Yeah, anyways, did I say that again? And yeah, it doesn't matter. Anyways, we've got some DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys Superman. This is the JLA wave. This is from back, I guess this, these characters or this version of the JLA would have been more popular in like the mid 90s. Mid, yeah, I would say mid 90s or so. And um, yeah, man, collect to build a plastic man, so that should be pretty rad. We got Blue Superman. Which I was looking up all the info on that blue Superman, and it's kind of different, man. It's um, so I don't know too much. I don't know every Superman, you know, in the world, and I'm just you know, but uh, we'll read real quick from the DC Wiki if I can get to it. Yeah, here we go. Oh, give me a second. All right, here we go. I'll go ahead and read this real quick. Okay, uh, Superman Blue was originally an alternate version of Superman from Earth 162 created when he used mind-enhancing machine uh, powered by kryptonite to increase his intelligence. The radiation caused Superman to split into two super intelligent beings. And there was like a red regular looking Superman and a blue one. And uh, Superman red, Superman blue. Eventually, they saved the world together and married Lois Lane and Lionel Lane respectively. In the New Earth continuity, Superman used a blue containment suit when he experienced a weird power fluctuation that rendered him in a form of pure energy. So that would be this one. And he found that he was considerably faster and tangible and able to interact with computers uh, in this energy form and lost his vulnerability to kryptonite. And they, and they made a, a red version of him too, the Mattel, the, the DC Universe or whatever figures. And then in the New 52 reboot, electric blue suit is shown inside a display case at the Fortress of Solitude, Clark's son, John Kent, received similar powers after being exposed to Lazarus resin during the Lazarus event. Superman Blue was created by Leo Dorfman and Kurt Swan, first appearing in Superman number 162, 1963. So there you go. There you have it, folks. Anyways, with that being said, side of the box. Back of the box, you get to build that plastic man, so it's going to be super fun, man. We'll do that on the last video, so tune into all the videos. So yeah, let's go ahead and rip this guy open and check him out. We're back. Here's our Plastic Man torso, which should be pretty fun, man. Pretty fun build. Looks pretty legit to me. And he actually had this um, little string sculpted, so that's cool. Because I know people get up in an uproar for things that aren't sculpted in and just painted on. Um, I get it. But anyways, um, here's the electrical bits that we have. They're not too bad. They're kind of, they're like off-white. They're kind of got some white with blue in there a little bit. It's not totally white, it's not totally blue, it's not totally whatever it is, but yeah, as you can see, it's, yeah. Or just clear plastic with a hint of blue. And these are always fun, or weird or awkward to put on, but whatever. And then we got our, our yield collectible trading card, which has got our long-haired uh, Kal-El, or Superman or whatever, but it's pretty much the same bio of Clark Kent, or Kal-El or whatever. It's pretty much the same bio we've read a thousand times on this card. And here's our figure. A blue Superman or Superman blue. It's pretty cool, man. I like the sculpt. Translucent hair would be cool, but this works too, man. It, I think it is. I can't tell if it's translucent or not with like paint in it or not or what, but yeah. Looks like it has dippity do in there. But not a bad buck, man. Pretty much like a standard buck. I'm not going to go through all my figures to see what it compares to or whatever because I just don't have that kind of time. But, um, yeah, articulation is pretty much standard and the same. Got the midriff and torso, pretty decent range. Swivels and all that. His arms, butterflies, biceps, double elbows, all that jazz. Hinge and a swivel on the hands. Splitsies, double knees. Got the big ham hock ankle with the ballerina swivel and the toe joint. So there you go, man. There you freaking go. UKCA. I don't know what that means. But anyways, next thing we're going to do is just get him uh, accessorized and posed up. But yeah, he didn't come with any other hands, but I guess he doesn't need to. I guess he's just got to kick ass. That's all he's got to really do. But yeah, there you go, man. There you go. Pretty simple. Folks, and here we have our Superman Blue posed up. It's just one of my generic poses. It's all. It's pretty simple, pretty standard, pretty basic. So I'm pretty basic, but anyways, um, yeah, there's electrical bits on. I can never usually figure out which way they're supposed to go, so I just try to fit them on, I don't know, in an anatomically correct way, I guess you'd say. I don't know wherever it would seem to fit the best, 
but yeah, man, I don't know. He's rad, dude. Kind of would be cool if he came with the flight stand, but I don't know. It's a badass fig. I like him, man. I like what McFarlane's doing. I mean, I'm not a, I don't get paid. I'm not sponsored or nothing like that. I don't get samples, but, um, but I like collecting them, man. And I like building my DC collection. My DC collection probably beats out my Marvel Legends collection big time, big, big time. But, uh, yeah, and I like DC, man. DC's more of the thinking man's comic versus um, Marvel and stuff like that. But yeah, dude, freaking awesome, man. It looks badass, dude. I like him, dude. I like him. It's pretty much it for the Superman Blue or JLA Superman Bill our, our 90s, uh, JL, I guess mid 90s JLA squad. Anyway, it would be mid 90s, wouldn't it? Anyways, I don't know. Anyways, uh, once again, thanks for tuning in. If you got any info on this character too, chime in. I'm always appreciated, man, because I don't know everything. And um, once again, thanks for watching y'all, and uh, have a good one. All right, later.